Hey everybody, welcome back. Bryce here from Colife.io. And today we're picking up where we left off on our last tutorial. In our last tutorial, we talked about React hooks and use state. So use state would allow us to replace this dot state or and the set state method that we were using before. So really handy, really helpful. Um, and you can see here on my screen, I have it right here. So this is exactly the code where we left off. But now what we're gonna do is introduce a new hook called use effect. So use effect is a hook that replaces uh, component did mount and component will update. So those were two uh, React lifecycle hooks or methods um, that were very handy. So component did mount was a lifecycle hook that would run only when your component um, had actually rendered to the DOM or rendered onto the page. Exactly. So once it rendered, then you could go and do something like you'd pull API data and then load it in or update the state or whatever. But it only runs one time, like right when your uh, component um, is created, essentially. So just after the constructor, um, but right after everything mounts to the DOM. So very helpful. And then component will update um, was something that would update and be called every time your um, um, the props and uh, state change essentially. So it was updating all the time. Um, but so what we have now is we have one method and I'll show you it's called use effect, which uh, very handy. And I'll show you exactly how that works here. So let's go ahead and we'll add it in right here. And so we just say use effect. So it's a little different than use state where you, you kind of destructure some uh, variables out of use state. So it's just a method here and it takes a function and in that function, um, let's go ahead and we'll set an interval to go ahead and, uh, delete or excuse me, reset the countered back to zero every five seconds. I think that's, um, a good idea. So we'll say const interval equals say set interval which takes a function and we'll use our set count uh, function there from our use state and we'll set it to zero comma and how often we want that to happen. We'll say every 5,000 milliseconds or every five seconds. Um, oh, we didn't import use state. So just like up here, we'll say use or use effect, excuse me. There we go. Cool. So everything's rendered to the page. Everything's looking good. Um, let's go ahead and increment our counter. Goes up to eight and back to zero. That looks pretty good. So let's, oh, what's going on here? Uh, know some weirdness? I do. So what's happening here is because use effect replaces component did mount and component will update. Essentially what's happening is it runs initially and then it continues to run on every uh, update of the DOM. So every time we've been clicking increment here, it's been creating new intervals for us. So we have a memory leak in our program now, very common. Um, so we have to do some cleanup. And the way to do that is with use effect because it's just one function essentially replacing two functions, one that gets called initially and one that gets called every time we update, um, we need to go and do cleanup. And so how do you do cleanup? Well, you clear an interval. Um, so we need to return a function. So this is kind of the tricky part that you have to kind of read into the documentation. You have to return a function um, to tell it how to do cleanup. So we'll return and we'll say clear interval and we'll pass it our interval to clear. There we go, cool. So now if we try it out, we can increment Wait a couple seconds and that should clear and it does and we're able to update still and now it's looking pretty good. So what's happening is essentially every time the DOM updates, it's going ahead and doing cleanup and then resetting that uh, interval for us. Uh, that way the old intervals are not lingering and still calling every five seconds which you can imagine every time we start doing that, 
that's going to build up over time. And eventually it, you saw it already. It was making it almost impossible for us to update um, our, uh, our, our counter. So one last thing about use effect, and this may not be as clear. So if I type this in here, so this is a little kind of performance upgrade here. So what will happen is use effect will check. Should I run? Should I call uh, in here? I wish there was something I could do. Um, so I'm not sure you can see the console in here. Maybe you can. Um, but anyways, so what would happen is um, essentially use effect is going to check and say, hey, what was count before? Count was you know, whatever it is right now, zero. And it'll go, what is it now? And it's going to say zero. Uh, if the DOM or something else was changing and it goes, oh, okay. Well, if that's the case, I'm not going to run. And so it would know not to go ahead and update and create another interval or whatever. So it's one performance perk you could do um, if you want to prevent it from running again. Uh, if there's something where it was like, component will update and you can tell it not to update because stuff hasn't changed in the DOM necessarily. So this is one of those cases. So can't really see it here, but if you did like a console log statement or here or something like that, you would see that this would not run uh, because count did not change. But once it changes, nine is not equal to zero and therefore it will run. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to nine. And after five seconds, that interval kicks in and resets the count back to zero. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, please like and subscribe. Helps others find the video. And leave a comment too if you got any feedback or anything I can improve. Love to hear your comments. And uh, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching.